now we are going to understand the how we connect the uh, the circuit to of the bluetooth module so first of all we are going to take uh, different connecting wires you can see different connecting wires here is the led so uh, through bluetooth module we are going to uh, turn on and off this led now this is the arduino board you can clearly uh, see from here uh, this is the, it is written over here arduino uno and upper ones are the digital pins while the uh, lower ones are analog pins okay now the, uh, the main component in this video that we are going to use is this one uh, this is known as the bluetooth module you can see now in this uh, this is the bluetooth module in which uh, this one is the antenna you can clearly see and now and in this module the, there are different types of pins namely first one is uh, state rx tx ground plus 5 and enable now uh, in this video we are only go going to use uh, this uh, four pin namely that is rx tx ground and plus 5 volt now uh, so let us start the connections so let us do that so first of all we are taking a connecting wire and uh, giving the 5 volt supply from the arduino 5 volt and connecting to the 5 volt of the bluetooth module okay. now uh, the second one is we are going to ground so uh, ground of the arduino you can see ground of the arduino now uh, ground of the arduino is connected to the ground of this bluetooth module Now the main part comes is now uh, that is the TX and RX of Bluetooth module. Now <coughs> uh, we connect TX of this Bluetooth module to the third digital pin. Now the main uh, one more and uh, the RX of the Bluetooth module. RX of the Bluetooth module, we are going to connect to the uh, second pin. Now, the main thing that we have to keep in mind is that the RX and TX of the Bluetooth module, you can see clearly. RX and uh, TX of the Bluetooth module has to be connected to alternate means uh, the RX of the Bluetooth module has to be connected to the TX of the Arduino and TX of the Bluetooth has to be connected to the RX of the Arduino board. So uh, I'll, uh, you can you you will see more about it in in the coding part of the video. Okay, so here is the full connection we have given and uh, the LED LED is left over here. So uh, we are going to connect uh, one terminal of the LED to the ground and the, uh, another terminal to the 13th digital pin this is how it is connected ok now this is the full circuit we have made this is the arduino board you, uh, we have connected the bluetooth module this is the led and now we are going to connect this arduino board through the usb to the serial monitor Okay, now uh, this circuit is completed. You can clearly see. Now we let's go on the coding part of the circuit. Yeah, so let let's understand the code for our Bluetooth control LED. So this is the code. Yeah. So one thing which is new in this code is this library, which is software serial. So what does this library basically do? Is uh, as a hardware, we have given two uh, transmission pins. On our Arduino Uno, uh, which is uh, D0 and D1, but if you want to use uh, digital pins from D2 to D13, any of them as a transmitter pin and a receiver pin, we have to need uh, we need this library. So, software.serial hc23. So hc is our function. We can name it anything, like anything. Here. It's written the first uh, number 
would represent the receiver pin. So now uh, our D2, which is digital pin 2, is a receiver pin for us. So it can receive data from a sensor. Then the second digit, which is 3. So now our D3 is a transmitter pin. So we can transmit the data to a sensor using our data. These are some uh, integers which we have mentioned for where uh, the Bluetooth data uh, will be used. This integer will be used to store uh, the data sense uh, transmitted to Arduino and the other integer which is LED pin it's 30. So our LED which will be controlled by the Bluetooth is on pin 30. Now let's move to setup, void setup. Now if you are new, new to Arduino sketch, then uh, the, whatever code you write in void setup, setup will be executed only once. And whatever code you write in void loop, which is this, will be executed in a loop, in a continuous loop basically. So first of all, hc.begin, similar, uh, similar to serial dot begin, which will start our communication uh, with the serial monitor which is this uh, start our communication with the serial monitor S similarly hc.begin will start our communication with the bluetooth module and the bluetooth module will transmit this data to the mobile phone on the mobile phone display then it would be print hc dot print line will print on our mobile phone send one or zero means either turn turn on the led or turn off it send some signal basically on serial monitor it will uh, write the same thing send one or zero and this pin mode thing this code uh, this function will uh, make our uh, LED pin which is pin 13 digital pin 13 as our output pin so the voltage uh, either 0 or 5 volt will be generated on that pin if this pin would have been our input pin then uh, voltage 0 or 5 will be would be sensed that either, uh, either voltage would come in or not come in it will continuously keep sensing it then moving to void loop there are some conditions over here. If hc dot available, now what does this mean? This means that uh, this condition checks that whether uh, any device is connected to our Bluetooth module or not. Like uh, if your phone is connected to Bluetooth module, then these condition will satisfy and the further codes will be executed. If it's not connected, if the Bluetooth module is idle, then these codes will be not uh, con uh, consecuted. Then further it is, Bluetooth data is equal to hc.read. Now what does hc.read mean? Now this uh, reads that whether the mobile is sending a message uh, of turning on the LED, or it's uh, turning off the LED. So there are only two possibilities in this uh, case. Either turning on the LED or turning off the LED. So hc.read will read that uh, input in, uh, sent and this input will be stored to uh, the integer that is Bluetooth data. Why uh, Bluetooth data is an in integer? Because uh, the input will be only 0 or 1. If it's 1, then the further code will turn on the LED. If it's zero, then the further code will turn off the LED. The rest is all for printing that gives and this or that input. Now rest. This is if Bluetooth data equal equal to one. Now if you uh, send a signal to turn on the LED, then digital write LED pin I. This will generate a five volt on or pin number 13 uh, and the LED will glow and further will further codes will print like the LED is on 
similar thing happens here if the bluetooth data is equal equal to zero means you have uh, given the input from the mobile to the bluetooth sensor to turn off the led so if it's glowing it will turn off if it's not glowing it will stay turned off so digital right led pin low it will generate a zero volt that is it will stop the supply and turn off the led eventually so this was the code so now we are going to simulate this uh, circuit and uh, uh, this is the bluetooth and uh, we have connected this bluetooth to the this mobile phone now see if we touch the on switch the uh, led over here would start blink uh, start so let us give it there see now if we click off then it would be off once more and you can also see the data is sent is uh, 48 when it is off because we have given uh, 0 and 1 to this on and off so once more we can uh, see the see the output see you can see the data is 49 and the LED is on ok again off in the same way you can see on the serial monitor also see if we uh, click the on button data would be C you can see over here then if we click off button C okay 